hello, hello, hello. This is Jillian with the Jewel Design, and uh, here today with a finished product reveal. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm a graphic designer working in the junk journal industry here, doing digital designs, and I'm occasionally making making handmade items um, with those journal kits that I design. Because what better way to use up your um, reveal, you know, reveal day work? Then with, of course, um, using those pages. Um, I love that I print out the pa pages for you guys and I do the reveals, but then I have all this printed paperwork. So it sort of encourages you to use those pieces. Um, no, you know, waste not, want not. So probably every Tuesday, um, we're either gonna work on the digital reveals where I'm showing off the physical uh, printouts of the digitals I've created, or it's gonna be a handmade reveal day. So, um, where Thursdays are showing the process and, and working through the elements, Tuesdays will be revealing the digital kit or the handmade items that I may have made. So maybe it's a day where I worked on a bunch of stuff off camera because I had a bad day, camera wasn't working, and I'm going to go, okay, well this is what I made this week, right? And I show off, and I've done this before, uh, we had a, quite a few of those moments in uh, November and December, where I just couldn't get the camera to work. So I showed you what I made because, well, it's better than nothing, right? You get to see what I did. I'll talk you through it. Um, other days, you know, it's going to be, hey, we worked on this or I worked on some of these and here's the rest of the things I worked on. So the biggest thing is to show off the journals or folios or anything major that I've been working on. And it's just sometimes quicker to show you the finished product than all the process in between. So Tuesdays are definitely going to be reveal days. Thursdays will be process days. And then occasionally I try to do some shorts. It's not working in my favor. I'll show you something I made in here. I thought I had the right timing. Once you glue something down, you can't redo it, right? You can't undo what you did when you're crafting. So uh, yeah, I tried to do something. I didn't have the right timing, so it cut off at 15 seconds. Then I was, you know, tried to do something else and the music wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, no, I had just figured out how to get a YouTube video to work in my favor. So I don't think I'm going to do the YouTube shorts. I mentioned in my About the Author at the beginning of the year that I was going to try to add a third type of video to my week. It's not worth it. I'd rather do the Instagram reels. <laughs> Those are fun. That I've got down pat. I know how to do an Instagram reel. So if I want to do something cute and fun, we'll stay to the Instagram side. Once you go to the bottom of the description of this, of this video, um, you click the, that, that last link that we talked about. Uh, which is a link tree then it lets you shows you all my social media and you can click on my instagram or my facebook and you can watch those cute little short reels or videos or things that i'm doing and that's going to be so much better <laughs> we're going to stick going i love my instagram can't help it but youtube i've got down pat for the most part when it comes to these videos so we're going to keep it as short and sweet as possible that is my new resolution this year to keep it short and sweet but give you guys the information that i need when we do it so today we are using um, a variety of the newest kits, the Vintage Rose Papers, Vintage Rose Journal Cards. We're using the Valentine-inspired Mini Ephemera Kit. Um, we're pulling pieces from uh, my Basic Collage um, Papers number two, and some elements from the Amore Journal Kit, which was my Valentine kit from last year. So this is a Vintage Rose, Rose Valentine-inspired journal. It's 64 papers, um, or pages, I should say. So 64 pages, front and back, like any other written book. Um, a majority of them are writable, which is great. So come January and February, if you if you are a daily journaling lady or gentleman, and you want something a little bit more for the season, for end of January and end of February, this is a great journal for you. It's a little over a five by seven and a half. So it's a little smaller than our standard nine by six, um, which is, it's, I'm really enjoying the size. I really I know there's a couple ladies out there who make just five by seven papers and I was like okay so you, you know it's actually ten by seven but when you fold it's a five by seven book and I'm liking it I, I cut the cardboard down just to it I put some I put some fabric over it lace I really had fun doing this cleaned up the edges on the back put the corners on it these are the Tim Holtz you know um, page corners which these are the bronze more of a like the antique bronze um, which I thought was a great reddish brown color for this book and just collage it up. Have the layers. I have a uh, coffee dyed like circle paper. I got the lace, bunch of little elements, little you know glitters and pearls. I thought this is a t this is an eco dyed ticket. You know papers, music sheets, and I love it. It's it's so nice falling in love. 
an affectionate squeeze. I thought it was perfect. I didn't even realize that. I just pulled the paper. I was pulling, I was you know, starting to rip something up, and I caught the words falling in love. And I was like, oh, that can't be any better if I tried. All right, so let's go through this. Let's keep it, try to, say, try to keep it short and sweet. My heater is on, and I'm so sorry. It's the house heater. And since I my workshop is technically in the garage, yeah, sorry. Um, but it is sort of drowning out any outside noise because my neighbors are working on their house. So in the front, we have a lace paper on the inside that helps sort of clean up the fabric indicators. Um, and so I put a lace pocket on these. I, Gail does them all the time. I was gonna try to sew it in, but this is not a fabric to sew. So we are using cardboard, you know, um, a cereal box cardboard type ordeal here. But I did fill it full of junk uh, journals. <clears throat> I made a cute little um, paper strip weave card. Okay, pretty with a pretty rose colored um, it's avocado paper, but it's like that construction stuff you find at the paint at the paint shop. You can go to the paint shop and they'll do rolls of this pinky colored uh, paper. I don't know what for. I have no idea how a painter uses it, but oh my gosh, we love it. <clears throat> so if you go to the if you go to your paint shop, um, some of the paint, paint stores will have the avocado paper in rolls, right? You can actually get strips of avocado paper, and there's this red one, this pinky red color, and so. We love it. And somebody thought, oh, I haven't used that in forever. So I backed those, right? It's a nice thick card there. You have some cards from the Amour. You have cards from the Valentines. And if you watched last Tuesday, or excuse me, last Thursday, um, this past Thursday, we did a little bit of, you know, decoring for some of our journal cards. So you'll see that throughout the book here. Um, I will list that, a little quick little 26-minute video um, on some of the design work of the journal cards here. Right now, um, I will plop it in. And I will go ahead and um, link back to the some of the ephemera creations for this book if you missed it on Tuesday. Keep saying Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Technically, this is being rolled on Tuesday for you. So Thursday, past Thursday, was the journal with me um, journal cards that we were working on. Now this is the Vintage Rose five by seven paper kit that is throughout the thing. There's eight five by sevens, but they're side by side, so you have something you can fold back easily and have a full. 10 by 7 page ready to go so it is, they are slightly distressed around the edges and i went ahead and did it. some extra inking because i really wanted those pages to sort of have their own feel but i did layer up a little bit on this one because it was really pale on the lace down here and it felt like it needed something especially for the first page of the book otherwise i did some stamp work and inking we have papers that are easy to write on i did my vellum like i like i'm i always love to do in my journals sort of did a distressed rip on the edge and in a couple of these, I went ahead and added a paper ruffle, which is fun to do. I was watching Jennifer or Trace the Sparkle do it the other day, and I went, oh, you just fold it under as you as you sew. Well, that still didn't work for me, so I pre-folded it and then sewed it. And that wasn't too shabby either, but you can tell it's, everything's a little, a little sideways. Paper folds on its own accord. Like, you try to fold it, and it, like, the grooves and the, like, little grains within the paper sort of naturally decide which way it's going to fold. I'm like, really? No. Um, and this is the the, ba the basic collage paper background uh, papers from number two. And this sort of coincided with the Amore journal kit. So there's elements within the collaging that go really well with the Amore journal kit. But again, I have two basic collage page paper sets um, that I'll link below. And they're great for just a combination of creamy. So I did, again, ink around the edges of that, inked on the back. We have some eco dyed. We have some fun uh, packing paper, brown paper bag pages. Um, so if you want, you can fold it back, you can glue it, you can add to it, you can just use it as a, just another piece of paper. Here's another one of the five by seven pages. And I did a, uh, what do you want to call it? I went ahead and just sort of bunched up the lace that we had used for the pockets and hand stitched the bottom to keep it together and then glued it down. And then I just was happened to be working and I thought it was super cute that this sort of tucked in, put some pearls on it. So it makes another outside, like, you know, beyond the border uh, texture. And I'm just gonna make sure that everything is going okay right now. All right, so let's move it down just a little bit. I don't wanna make sure, and I know it's at an angle. I really should do it great. I'm left-handed and everything's, everything's always at an angle. I don't know why, that's just me be my weird left handedness but I did because these pages my the papers I did back with my distressed cream paper which one of these days I'm gonna have to do I think I'm gonna do a quick paper I have it in pink blue and green or pink blue and cream 
that are distressed. And all the way to the, the outside edges are distressed. Like I took a piece of paper, I distressed and inked it, scanned it in, and then changed the color. And we, I used it in my pink kit. I have blue for my snowy, for the snowy uh, winter kits. And then I had distressed cream that I pull up every so often and throw into your guys' um, ephemera half of your, the ephemera PDF of your journal kit. So you have something to back things with on every so often. But I haven't released it in a while, so I might do that. I may put those three pages up as a as just like a, a general ordeal. Um, and because I have the original, maybe I'll do it in a couple different colors. So it is just for some color, for some ink on the back of the page, so it's not stark white. Um, and then I went ahead, of course, though, and did some stamping. And you can tell up here, it's a little distressed where the ink, um, where the glue is. How funny is that? It actually bled through a little bit. So you definitely have some distressing on some of these pages, but I wanted to put something in the corners of these back pages where it didn't look super stark, like, well, is that white, is that cream, what is it? So, anyway, but it does match the front really nicely. It does have a nice tone. So it does look like it's almost, you know, an actual piece of paper, that colored paper. These were a great find, I found them on Amazon. They're, you know, they're pre-printed, pre-reproduced, pre um, sort of distressed uh, vintage papers, because I don't have the time to make those all the time. And then I don't have to worry about lining them up and they're great, great to add to my books. So here we go, we have another background um, collage page. And this is a belly band from the Amore kit. And then I went ahead and added to it because it's a really simple belly band, but it's tall. It's, it's for a nine by six journal. So I cut the top off, which happened to have a little lace um, edge, turned it around, flipped it upside down, and glued it in and around a the flower and just sort of added it to the top. And then I added this, these cute little couple that I adore to the bottom here. So sort of enhance the belly band with elements that I had and using the edge of the belly band to sort of add a new layer. Put in one of the journal cards. Now this is the uh, full size journal card for the Vintage Rose. So there's a Vintage Rose journal card set out there for you guys. And it has the larger three and three quarters by five inch journal cards. And then it has the smaller like two and a third by three inch journal cards that you'll see throughout the book. I uh, took a image the cash the one of the ledger papers printed it on parchment paper distressed around the edges use it use the natural edge of the scan um, and cut along of that and I, I sort of did a drop shadow on it so I could really easily see it and then I cut it so you have that natural ripped edge and distressed it so it is brand new but you know hey we're gonna make it look a little older than it is because I don't have a lot of vintage stuff I have to sort of create it use it make it look like it Another one of the five by seven pages. So I took the next collage page uh, that came up and I took the corners. As you can see, it's fully loaded. Um, I have these two corners in the kit and I went ahead and though these corners don't have printed tabs to make it a little bit more thicker, I just simply cut a small edge. I cut a border and cut little angles and folded it back to give some depth to this one. Now this one's flat so things stay still, but I wanted some room. And so I was able to put the double tag journal card uh, into this one. We decorated this one on the, on the video that I mentioned in the beginning of the, of the video. A little journal card from the kit, which I'm going to put in the back here because there's a sort of a thinner pocket. I love these this couple, but she's so she's so serious. Oh, he's super cute, but she's so serious. Put one of the, another little journal card. Everything is you know backed or inked. So plenty of writing space again more writing space and then one of the labels um, that I created in the Amore journal kit and it happens to be backed with pink this time but you can use a little to write on you can place it somewhere else I just thought it was a nice little extra bit to add to the journal so there's a lot of a uh, lot of writing space and then there's just these clusters where you have a bunch of ephemera in it ready to go so you can spread it out you can glue it down you can leave it in there so oh um on this one I just hit side to take one of my last heart doilies and glue it onto the um, vellum, the red one, for some decor. Instead of just sitting out there and flapping around and sort of getting in the way, I thought, well, well, we'll glue it down. And then it does leave you the ability to like one of the labels or you could glue this on. Now I did realize, and I do this all the time though, with the art glitter glue, it's a little wetter, right? And it sort of bunches up. So if you use your fabric fusion um, it's definitely a drier, surprisingly a drier glue job to the vellum. And I do this, I keep putting stuff on the edges and it keeps curling and I'm so used to using glitter glue that I forget that it's, eh, the fabric fusion is actually better on the vellum. 
<clears throat> more details. And then the middle of the book is one of the five by seven pages, side by side, and intentionally has a flip ordeal. It's tied in the middle with a couple little gems on it, right? We have a little red heart, we have a gem, and a, and a handmade with love to make, you know, put, put the strings to good use. And then we go back the other direction, right? All the basic pages, <clears throat> we get over here. Again, I take the <clears throat> two, and then both, so this one's from the Amour journal kit, and this one is from the new um, Valentine inspired mini ephemera kit. So we layered them up, because one's scalloped, one's hole punched, I added some, and but I added some layers to the pocket, and I made it a double pocket so that things could just have some substance. Stamp the top. This is one of those cards that we did um, on Tuesday. Layered it up, had some fun with it, distressed the back, and just something cute to write on. So putting it in the back is a little taller. And then we have a slightly that medium to large journal card layered up with a smaller journal card, but we made it a pocket so you have the two little scalloped tags inside it. Again, you can take those out, you can leave them in there and write a little secret on them, or you can take these out, of course, and decorate somewhere else within the journal. And it fits nicely inside that pocket. Little lace. If you want to know about the, more about those, again, go back to the Tuesday's video. Um, and then this was the thing that, yeah, I tried to show you guys on the short, me decorating out this, this envelope, right? I did an envelope, I was going to decorate the front, yeah, you know, it had issues, but that's okay. So we have another tea dyed piece of um, tissue or whatever that's a circle and half. I had some lace down here. I realized I was out of butterflies. I wanted to add something else to this kit, and I realized I had no butterflies. I had used them all up, hadn't printed them, gave them away. I don't know. So I had to go print up. I had to go print butterflies. So I have these double layered butterflies in pink and in spring colors. These are this. this these are the stamps. Um, that we I created for the mini ephemera kit for the Valentine inspired the part of the Valentine labels of course and that's one of the large journal cards so we decorated I decorated up that which I could have <clears throat> showed you guys and then inside it which I mentioned on Tuesday I made it a little mini journal to go inside the big journal um, and this again is just this five by seven um, or not five by seven but three by seven or three times there was more time three by five journal cards that happen to be, you know, on the page, they're four up and they're pretty close together. They were close enough for me to cut the whole thing and fold it in half and then make a great little mini journal. So there are two pages of these where you have all eight three and a quarter by five cards and they're close enough side by side. You could make a bunch of cute little mini books. So I had some leftover paper, right? Pink doily thing, more uh, papers, right? Just sort of fill it up, make it look sort of like a miniature. And in the middle, which this one fell out, which I'm sort of shocked, in the middle does have some mini ephemera. I put a little belly band in it and put some mini ephemera in it. So it has little scallops, has um, stamps. These are both from the Amore kit. And then these are the smaller journal cards um, that go with the, with this kit. So when you buy the journal cards with the, the vintage rows, you get both sides. You get, the, you get my normal large ones, and these are pretty much about eight up. So they're a little smaller than my usual six up um, small journal cards are a little smaller, but they're great for these projects. They're great for layering up. So I'm loving that. So you have that, you know, it's just the same. So it's a cute little journal, it's covered in lace, using the cards for another purpose, and just having a cute little, you can take it out, you can give it away. You buy the journal, you decide you wanna give away a little Valentine card to somebody. That little journal would be really fun to give away or put in a kit, just, you know. And then because, um, to make sure it stayed on, you know, I used the flap um, on the back side of the, and it's a pink envelope, tea dye, it's an eco dyed envelope in pink. And then um, I used the flap, I used another one of the belly band um, ruffles, decorated up with lace and flowers, and then stuck the second, um, can I say on that's so bad. Use the second half of the strip weaved card that I made, also decorated up, and we're just going to tuck it right in there. There's the other half of the ledger, some more papers. This time I clustered on the paper bag side, did a little, you know, some more lace so it sort of sticks out to give us some more dimension. There's that pink eagle die, left it alone so you guys can do what you wanted with it. There's the other half, so both pinks on both ends do have this. Red has the doily. And then here I had this, this is the other half of that ledger paper. This is where that um, drop shadow sort of popped into place. And what I went ahead and did was, besides distressing it some more, 
I scored it right down the middle, put a glue dot here and glued on the outer edge to make a side tuck. Um, I didn't have enough paper and stuff going on right now to make those cute little like envelope um, journal card pockets. My porch prints um, has a great setup for that in most of our journals. And I know Gail did something similar just recently in one of her Christmas journals. And I just didn't have the scraps to do it. So I had this and I thought, well, that's really cute. You can still see the collage page on the background. And I was just going to stick some more extra, you know, some extra journal cards here. That's from the Amor kit. You know, that's the little journal cards. This is part of the, these are part of the Valentine inspired mini ephemera kit. I absolutely love these. This was, I had a lot of fun mixing like doing the ripped edge over a book cover of the book papers or the music paper and collaging those up. So you can round the corners on these. You can, you know, I just stressed around the edges. Makes for a cute little, and you can still layer on that. These guys can still be really decorated if you really wanted to. So there's quite a few small journal cards and whatnot all throughout the book. And then on the back you have some more. So here's like part, that's a large playing card uh, from the, Valentine kit. That's from the Amore kit. That's actually a strip out of the Valentine Amore um, words from last year. Um, on the bottom of the word sheet, besides the vertical and horizontal, this is cute little bookmarky thing. So I cut that out, put that in there for you if you wanted to use it somewhere. And the journal cards. So you have plenty of journal cards in here to add anywhere you want uh, to label up. There's quite a bit there. It's just a man. There's a lot there. What do we have? Here? We have four, six, eight. We have the journal card, we have the you know, eight, see, ten, nine, the book makes it 10, 11, 12. There's quite a bit in here, I just realized. 11, 12, let's see, where else? 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, there's more in here. 16, there's 17. I don't know, I don't know. 17, let's see, almost 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You have 21 ephemera pieces in here, unless I missed something. Um, that's not bad. I mean, 21 pieces, 64 pages. 64 pages quite a few of them as you can see are have plenty of writing space on them you know if I, if I block something then you have you know the ephemera to use it with so great little book for end of january early february or all of february i should say you have plenty of pages to write in here if you are a daily journaler um and you just liked having you like having themed journals for certain times of the year just because just to feel you know we want to start getting into the the feel of January and the love of February and you know make it a kindness book make it a you know moments moments I love this month right or you just need something really pretty to look at as you journal your 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 day you journal your month because maybe it's been a hard month and you just need somewhere beautiful and vintagey and roses that make everybody happy well I think I mean my me and my mom adore roses so um her backyard is full of them so uh, which Mother's Victorian Roses was all was all for her. Like, I totally was thinking of her when I made the Mother's Victorian Roses, which would be another great, if you have Mother's Victorian Roses, this paper set would be great to add to it as a different size element. Um, would be a great addition to that, too. So I hope you enjoy this. This is my, you know, Valentine book, first Valentine-ish lovey-dovey uh, journal I've ever made. And um, I've done Christmas, I've done Autumn, which were all gone. I'm very, I'm so, so blessed that those sold, and I'm hoping they had a great time with their new owners um, and at the end of the video I will link the heroes in retro journal I still have a traveler's notebook in hand it's in my shop um, there is a flip through for that so I will link that at the end of the end of the video in case you have not seen me and you're new and you're uh, looking for another journal that's very unique in its own right um, and so I hope you love this thank you for joining me and coming along this is Jolene with a jewel design happy Tuesday and I love you guys all, and hopefully um, we will see you soon. I think the next thing will probably be next week with a new journal, ju new journal reveal, a digital reveal. I don't know if I have a journal with me uh, for this upcoming week, just because uh, daughter's off, hubby's in a bunch of doctor's appointments, and um, you guys need another digital, right? Like you need, like you need another hole in the head. We have to have our creative moments, and we need to keep going. So next thing you'll see will probably be another Tuesday video uh, showing off, um, you know, a new journal set. Uh, but if I get a bug and I realize that I need an outlet, like I did with this one, um, you know, I'll jump on in and give you guys a journal with me on Thursday. So thank you all. Love you all. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. Um, as they say, you know, you can like it, which is great. But if you don't comment or 
share it or save it, um, YouTube thinks, you know, no one's paying any attention. And I do end up at the bottom of your list, even the bottom of your feeds, right? Um, if I'm not, you know, if you're not commenting and, and participating, um, it thinks, you know, you're not really enjoying them. And they do go to the bottom of the, you know, bottom of your list, the bottom of your, of your subscription, your subscriber, um, videos and no one realizes, you know, I'm there. So I'm doing better trying to get this to these videos to you more and more often. So hopefully I'll pop up, but the more you like, the more you love, and the more you share, um, and comment, uh, the, the easier it'll be to find me. So hopefully the new name change too, uh, made it a little easier, uh, J, you know, A instead of J. Um, and that, you know, makes it easier too. So thank you guys so much for joining me, watching and returning every week. It really means the world to me. So we will see you guys very soon. Have a great day.